everything happens for a reason. And sometimes that reason is simply that you're horny and single, and you make a bad decision that you have to pay the consequences for later. But there hasn't been one second in my life where I've looked at my fair-skinned, doe-eyed little girl with regret. Because in a lot of ways, I think Maya Nicole saved me before I even realized I needed to be saved. Even though I never wanted to be a 21-year-old mother or a college dropout, the brown-eyed girl who kept me up for the first eight months made me reevaluate my life for the better. I never loved college, but I thoroughly enjoyed my time at the small state school I attended. And while I didn't mind the English degree I was studying, I had no idea what to do with it. I never wanted to be a teacher or a writer, but the subject was the only thing I truly enjoyed. I went to school lost, hoping to find something that fit me. Deciding to leave and take the money Maya's father gave me to drop out, pay off my debt, and get us into a safe apartment with everything we needed was the smartest thing I could think to do. For me. For her. For us. Before Maya, I'd been careless with my life. Going out. Partying. Bar hopping. I was reckless with my choices. It's probably a miracle I hadn't gotten pregnant sooner. Because I was a train wreck waiting to happen getting involved with all the wrong people and doing what the masses wanted, even if it wasn't good for me. Way more drinking than studying. Living off an occasional high that probably would have gotten me addicted to far heavier things than the molly and ecstasy I'd pop with a few of my former friends. When my parents caught wind of how I was spending my time at school, they'd warned me they wouldn't tolerate it. They told me if I got myself into trouble, they would only help me to a certain point. And maybe it was the late-night reruns of Dr. Phil I'd found myself watching when Maya was too restless and finicky to sleep. But I realized far too late that I owed my parents a major apology for how careless I took their words. I thought I knew better, that I was young and invincible. But you can't outrun your actions. They'll always catch up to you. When my parents found out the reason I was dropping out of college, neither of them seemed too shocked. I'm not quite sure what I expected from them. A place to stay? Help taking care of Maya. At one point, Dad had offered me my old room back. He even suggested converting the smaller guest room into a nursery. There was too big of a rift between Mom and I that made me too uncomfortable to accept it. I knew moving back home would only last so long before I permanently damaged what little relationship I had with my parents. I've never kept them away from their granddaughter, no matter the circumstances of our strained relationship. They see photos of Maya regularly through social media or random texts I'll send to my mother when Maya does something cute. Once in a while, we meet up for lunch or dinner to catch up, and more times than I like, I drop her off at their house on the days she doesn't go to daycare. Never before getting lectured about making responsible choices, as if I'm going to skip work to go to a club and do jello shots or snort something. It's fair, I guess. 